Alrighty, what's up guys? Another day, another video. This time we're out on our balcony. It's a beautiful day. Today is March the 10th and it's like 50 degrees out. So definitely enjoying this nice weather. I figured I'd take things outside for a change of scenery. But if you look behind me, I have six sneakers all at once. It's early in the month. There's still 21 days left in March. I'm kind of scared because anything I buy after this will be spliced into this video. But for now, six at one, it's a little daunting. That being said, if you like content like this, Drop a like below, let me know in the comment section. I also can't support myself buying all these things all the time, so I am selling things from the collection. Check me out on eBay, I'll have that all linked down in the description. So without further ado, I guess we could get into it. These are just showcasing some pickups, maybe some first reactions, and we'll see if these things stick in the collection. So I don't really know I'm gonna do this. I guess we'll start up top here. This one's the easiest. So this one comes from Nike Soho. So this was via Nike Sneakers Pass and we picked them up this past Saturday, whenever that release date was. You couldn't tell what it is already. Air Jordan 6 box with that University Blue. Colorway on here is University Blue, white and black, Air Jordan 6 Retro. And if you don't know, now you know. I've got the printed receipt as well here is the sneaker the air jordan 6 the university blue so i wasn't crazy about the sneaker but once i got them in hand i'm all about them i love this university blue that nike utilizes i wasn't fortunate enough to hit on the fours in the past or the ones so this is sort of a nice little addition to the collection these were controversial in the sense that they're kind of difficult to get your hands on and by that i mean that they weren't available on the sneakers app other than that shock drop and fast forward they didn't release on the release date that saturday on the sneakers app so that shock drop is the only thing to come out of the sneakers app as well as the sneakers pass a very limited locations as well again i was fortunate enough to pick these up from nike soho shout out to them i've actually hit on a few sneakers passes from there in the past um, and this is just yet another dub so very thrilled i know a lot of people don't like that back tab i'm indifferent to it just because the overall colorway and color blocking is cool to me essentially that carmine color blocking that pair i actually still have in the collection with the difference of that back tab there obviously so um, super cool, gonna hang on to these for a little bit. I have a few Jordan 6s in the pipeline that I still haven't worn yet, so these are on the back burner for now. I'll probably pull these out in the summertime in a few months. All right, next up, we'll start up here. I think this is going chronologically in the way that they arrived. So this one comes from eBay. I actually bought these at the end of February, but they didn't show up until pretty much now, so we'll, we'll nestle this into the uh, March pickups here. But I bought these on eBay for a really good price. I caught wind that at some boutiques there, restocking which i mean isn't a bad thing because i pretty much caught these at retail plus shipping which isn't bad at all uh, but i would hate to pay the going market price on these right now um, and you'll know what i mean so these come from ebay again um, meet your soulmates ebay authenticity guarantee box here they are then we got this ebay authenticity guarantee card or just in the past from ebay using that authenticity guarantee i actually love it a lot more compared to goat and StockX. Style code is MS574YSC, that's a mouthful, size nine and a half. You can tell by the art on this box. This is the retooled pair of 574s in collaboration with Salehi Bembry. And here they are, brand new, dead stock, can't beat it. Super clunky, super big. I don't know why I went out and sought these out. I just lowballed some guy. We went back and forth on eBay and we got them. The completionist in me wanted this pair as well because I have the other colorway, a multicolored one. I forget what the name of that one is, but this shark skin obviously is a lot more desirable just given the overall gray color usage here. Very technical shoe for sure. I think this pair is gonna get worn on foot before the other colorway, but then again, who knows? And then I recently picked up a pair of the 2002 R's that you might not have seen on YouTube, but on Instagram, follow me over there if you haven't. I shared it over there. Nice little Salehi collection is building up. I'm definitely on the search for more, just finding them at a good price. This pair is definitely a great pickup for sure. Very excited about these. You can tell they haven't been worn also just because the, uh, the labeling is still here on the whistle portion of the sneaker, which is very neat. Definitely, definitely very stoked on these. Next up, this one comes to us directly from Nike. I actually started redirecting my packages, so for the most part, Nike over here, my experience ships it via FedEx. So what I've been doing is redirecting my packages to a nearby FedEx location, just because the area that I live in, a lot of package theft going on, and it kind of holds them accountable to, I know there's been a lot of controversy of like delivery drivers, 
package jacking and then even so like people just on the street stealing packages so it holds everyone liable pretty much i redirect them so this one i had to walk half a mile to get but very well worth it in the name of getting my product so black and red air jordan one box these came out in late february again but they didn't show up till early march so we're plugging these in here this is my first time seeing these in person so i'm kind of intrigued <laughs> and that's it's be a very mediocre reaction because I think this is a very mediocre shoe. It's the Air Jordan 1 Brotherhood, inspired by the Omega Sci-Fi fraternity that Michael Jordan was in during his time at UNC. They're historically African-American fraternity. These are their colors. I remember seeing them around on campus when I went to Rutgers a few years back. These are definitely a must for guys in that fraternity and that family. For myself, I'm not too sure if I'm hanging on to these. The colors are a little out there for me. I also have the Light Fusion Red, which is a very similar color block in the sense that it's bold and bright colors. Uh, the leather on it feels pretty decent. Some glue stains, some QC issues, but that's all to be expected. So who knows if these will stick around the collection. I know resale isn't too bad on these either, so if I were to sell them, I'd probably be losing money or breaking even if I could even do that. So They do have that nice intoxicating rubber smell though, which I love getting new Air Jordan ones, and that's really, I think, the only positive to come out of these sneakers, but got these on the Nike Sneakers app. It was my first win on the app, shockingly, of 2022, so glad that I was able to get them, but who knows if they'll stick around. I'm getting into some good stuff. I know exactly what this one is, I'm very excited about it. So if you've ordered from Supreme recently or generally anytime, they're pretty good about putting this tamper evident tape on, which I like. These came from Brooklyn, New York. So not too far from, I think it took one day uh, for them to arrive, which isn't bad. They did sit sort of in the handling phase for a little bit of time, but it's all good because we got them now. Nicely covered in some paper there. Oh, they gave me some extras, look at this. A Supreme candy necklace, very cool. A bunch of red Supreme stickers, um, as well as these little ones. It's kind of nice. I'm gonna throw these on my laptop or something. That I always appreciate any extras I can get from Supreme. I'm not really buying much from them, but you know when I do, it's always a nice experience. And here they are: purple Nike SB box, which I could have sworn they're a Nike sportswear box, but. A fitting time because I'm wearing my coach jacket here. So these are the Nike SB Dunk High OG QS in a colorway of yellow zest and classic green. So I think this was the most desirable colorway of the three and you'll see exactly what they are. They are the Supreme Brazil Dunk Highs. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Wow. I'm very very excited about these. Very intrigued seeing them in person with all this embroidery around, but I could get down with it, I guess. The hang tag, no one stole that, which is nice. And here is the other shoe. Move this box to the side, take a better look at these. Bam. Wow, these are crazy. So yes, like I mentioned, they're an SB Dunk High, which I could have sworn that they were to release as a sportswear dunk, uh, but I guess not. They come strapped up with some green flat laces and then have an additional set of yellow laces as well. So these are inspired by the Brazil Dunk. I actually have the recent 2020 release in my collection. I've worn those a lot, so I'm very glad to have these. Um, and the whole backstory behind these is I was able to hit manually. Um, I know the Supreme's website is very bot ridden. And you know, I always try my hand at the Air Force Ones whenever they drop, but I never hit just because bots eat them up. But this release was really well done. I was able to successfully do like the, the swipe through thing that they had, that little bot roadblock that they had. Uh, there are people out here watching me, which is cool. I'm a nice little audience. Uh, but anyway, very stoked. I hit manual on these. Um, I also hit manually on the Wheat Air Force One Lows, so very stoked on that. Supreme's been good to me in the last six months, and I hope to keep it up. These are definitely staying in the personal for sure. I have a few of the Dunk Low SBs that came out like two years ago, or I guess three years ago now in 2019. This is just a nice little addition in the collection. Very, very glad to have these. It's always like winning the lottery when you're able to hit manually on Supreme, so this is I, I'm very excited about these. These and the Union Dunk Lows are probably uh, my biggest hype item pickups this year so far, so very, very stoked. Let's see. Let's do this top one. So part of the reason why I reroute my packages to FedEx is because sometimes 
people take a little dig into them, and that's exactly what happened here. Uh, I don't think this was a result of packages being stacked on top of each other. Like, I literally think someone dug into this box, um, especially seeing the Nike logo, just to get a little peek. And you can get a peek of what was in there. Um, so, by seeing it too, it looks like the red Nike box was damaged, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. This is a personal pickup, and I know I'm going to wear these, so it's kind of whatever, but, you know, as a collector, it is frustrating getting a damaged box in the mail. If, if I had this shipped to the apartment, this probably would have gotten package jacked or lost. Yeah, the box was damaged a little bit, but whatever. There, right there, you can see it. It's all good. So these are a Nike Dunk Low Retro, white and port purple. Um, and they're exactly what the colorway says. They are the port purple Dunk Lows. So I didn't even know these were dropping on the Nike app, to be honest. I got a Twitter notification from Sneaker Twitter, shout out to them. These were dropping at 10 a.m. via the Nike app, so not the Sneakers app, the Nike Sportswear app, the traditional one of the mill one. And I haven't hit on the Nike app in a while. They don't really do a good job in one, advertising that things are releasing, and two, uh, letting you know if you lost or won until you see your email. So that was the case. I entered at 10, and then I saw the email a few minutes after, so I was very, very stoked. And I love purple on sneakers. The court purple women's Air Jordan 1 High and that sort of OG color blocking and the metallic color blocking. I love that pair a lot. I had three pairs at one point. I got rid of two. Um, and the one pair that I have, I've worn a ton. And I always hit myself for passing on the court purple 2.0 Air Jordan 1 Highs when they dropped, I think, in 2020. So this is sort of redemption to that as well. Essentially just a white and purple synthetic leather, but the color blocking there is super classic. So again, I love purple on sneakers. This is definitely a nice pickup for sure. Gonna get a lot of wear out of these in the summer. You know, the dunks are getting a little out of hand these days, but at the same time, I'm loving them. So, you know, if you're ever able to get your hands on a pair at retail, it's totally worth it. These are those, we'll keep it moving to that last box over there. Alrighty, last box here. And, and they don't really do a good job of concealing sort of the contents. If you're sort of into sneakers and you figure out the timeline of this early March time blocking, you'll know what these are. If you don't, you're about to find out nice little retooled box, a bunch of cool artwork and logoing and stuff. You'll see that Concepts logo there. These are a Nike Air Max 1 SP in a colorway of oil green, multicolor, and sale. So very excited about these. I hit manually straight from Concepts or that alternate site in the morning. Cool box paper on the inside. Very, very nice. So these are the Concepts collab Nike Air Max 1, dubbed as the Mellow. You get that nice little Concepts guitar pick, sort of hang tag, very cool. And let's pull out the other sneaker, actually. We can dive into them a little more. Yes. Okay, okay. So we got a few sets of laces here. We got a white set that fell off. We got this velvet set of laces that match the tongue and then on here you have this burgundy set of laces so I love this sneaker a lot just because not only because I hit manually but also just the overall sort of material usage on here is really sick so you get some like acid wash denim you got some like ripstock canvas these cool paisley prints at the back it's this is a really sick sneaker actually um, look at that retooled swoosh over there flower pattern on it you got some like faux horse hair pony hair cow, hide, whatever. Crazy materials on this sneaker. Now is it the most wearable? Probably not, but man, very cool sneaker. I know they're dropping another pair. I forget what it's called, but it's dropping this Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm trying again for those, um, and we're gonna make a, oops, gonna make a run at them. I know these are dropping on the sneakers app this coming Saturday as well. So Concepts got the first release, and then there's a more global wor worldwide release via the Nike sneakers app, so. Very stoked to have these Air Max ones. March is Air Max month after all. So I am getting a lot of wear out of my Air Maxes this month for sure. Uh, this will certainly be one of them. But yeah, that's the initial six that I picked up. I'm waiting on Sakai Vapor Waffles in the black and gum colorway on a raffle. So those are coming in. I also hit on a pair of Yeezy slides in Steph size actually. So once those come in, I'll splice it into this video. But yeah, we'll keep things moving. I appreciate you guys for sitting through what seems to be 20 minutes worth of content now. So. Let's keep it moving. The lighting's a little weird. Let's see if this works. All right, so it's a few days later. It's Monday, March 14th. Yes, Monday, March 14th. 
and this is a pickup that came to us on Friday, March 10th. So on top of that, I'll get this out of the way. I picked up this six pack of Nike socks. These came from Foot Locker where I got these shoes as well, which I'll talk about in a second. But I've been looking for these socks forever. They're out of stock most places online, uh, but it's just like a bunch of nude toned socks, which is perfect for uh, the Clot Air Max ones that I've been trying to find good socks for. These are finally gonna go on feet uh, with these socks, so shout out to them. I'm also gonna move the camera because this sun isn't helping. All right, that's better. You'll get a better view of our bed here. But if you think back to that Friday, March 10th, you'll know what dropped. And if you can tell by this sort of old school Jordan box, very time specific, it's an Air Jordan 12 Retro in a colorway of black, varsity red, and white. So these are none other than the Jordan 12 Retro in the playoffs. So this sneaker is definitely a nice one for sure. 210 retail is kind of taxing. And I guess before we even get into that, I got these off of a raffle win from Foot Locker, the Foot Locker app, so shout out to them. I picked up a lot from them recently, which is kind of strange. I was actually waitlisted and then got through the waitlist and was able to confirm this reservation for pickup on 14th Street. So that Friday for lunch, I had stepped out and picked up these Jordan 12s. So I know March is crazy in terms of releases, but this is a sneaker for sure that I did not want to miss out on. One, because it's my first Jordan 12, but also because this is one of those sneakers that Michael Jordan actually wore on court and eventually will go up in value. Not that I'm in it for the resale value, I think this is a sneaker right now that isn't for flipping or for resale purposes. You could find these a little bit above retail, but at the same time, if you're selling them, you're making no money on them, which is fine. This is more for like a personal nostalgic collector pair. If you grew up watching MJ in the 90s, this is definitely a sneaker to have, or if you're just a general Jordan fan and collector, this is the sneaker to have. So, like I mentioned, the leather's super nice. I got these socks along with them and I paid like upwards of 260 bucks for everything, which is kind of absurd. So definitely need to sell some things. But also in the time period, I guess between that Friday and now, I hit on sneakers for the Concepts Air Max ones that you just saw. So I have two pairs of those. I didn't hit on that other pair. What was it? The Heavy. I didn't hit on those. So I'll probably try to do some sort of trade for one of the pairs of the Mellow Air Max ones, Concept Air Max ones. Oh, I also hit on the Confirmed app for the Oreo 350 V2s. That's a nostalgic pair for me. That's going to come in this video as well. So we're going to time jump to whatever next clip I have. But these are the Jordan Playoff 12s for now. All right, we're back at it here. This one, another FedEx pickup comes from Adidas, their direct-to-consumer business. This one came from Pennsylvania, so shipping wasn't too bad. I'd won these on Saturday, and they arrived on a Tuesday, so generally not too bad. I don't mind these boxes with the pull-out tabs. It actually makes it a lot easier. No Nike needed. I'll try my best to conceal my address here. Look at that, fits there perfectly, so hopefully no damage to the box. Let's see. lie damage to the box <laughs> right there but that's not all too bad because these are for the personal so 350 easy boost box size 10 it's c black c white c black so core white core black core black if you know what these are if you've been around in the block core black or the oreo 350 boost if you're a fan of the channel, you'll know I'm not crazy into all black sneakers or primarily black focused sneakers, but for these, I just had to do it, just given the nostalgia behind these. So these are obviously a re-release. These initially debuted in what I want to say was, what, 2016 or 2017, I think. Um, and I remember being in college. Yo, shout out to you, Will, if you're watching. So very stoked to have these in my possession a bunch of years later like five years later or so definitely gonna wear these it's sort of the wrong season now especially now that the weather is a lot nicer you know we're reaching the springtime here in the northeast so i don't think an all black sneaker like this is gonna do me any well but you know these are gonna sit in the stacks for sure just to have and collect that's the whole point of this sneaker stuff to me my first 350 without a pull tab fun fact but yeah these are really nice really glad to have them and we'll see what else we have in store here. Alrighty, we've time jumped a little bit here. Today is March 29th. The last clip that I just filmed was from March 16th. 
I went away for a week, but you know, I was editing this video and realized I didn't really close out. So hopefully after these two will be done. But anyway, jumping right into it, literally a few days after that March 16th clip, on March 18th, I hit a restock link via Twitter, uh, specifically from Foot Locker for these. If you couldn't tell by this half red, half elephant print box, I'll tell you right now, they're an Air Jordan 3 Retro in a colorway of white, light curry, and cardinal red. And if you don't know, these are the cardinal Air Jordan 3s. Look at these. Super clean. So, no live unboxing, unfortunately. I wasn't in town when these had shipped to my house, so I had Steph sort of dig into them. Mainly because she sent me the picture of the shipping box half open. And, you know, given all the nonsense going on now with all these shipping providers swooping packages from consumers. I had her dive into it, make sure that the shoes were there. Yeah, so these are pretty cool. I didn't try for these when they dropped in late February. I literally skipped every single raffle and like e-sneakers entry, etc. Just because I have a pair of the 2013 Fire Reds. And as you know, those are also retroing later in the year, so there's really no need for me to get these. However, after having them in hand, I'm probably gonna sell my 2013 Fire Red pair and wear these. And should I hit on the fire red retro with the Nike Air on the back later in the year, you know, I'll get my wear out of these and then sell them. I think I was also in the heat of the moment as well in catching them via Foot Locker. I know their website is pretty trash when it comes to copying things manually, but somehow I was able to get away with these manually. So very excited about that. The leather quality is decent. Colorway is decent. I like the little hit of gold at the Jumpman there. I'm concerned over time about the paint at the midsole as my 2013 pair is chipping there. It's a notorious problem for Jordan 3s, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, so this was a pickup while I was gone, and we'll jump to the last thing that I have here. Before we get into what's in this bag, I did want to call out a few things. So I was gone for the week, like I mentioned. I went to San Francisco, mainly for work. I didn't really check out a lot of sneaker-related stuff. It was really there for business. But I did see some sites. I had in and out for the first time, which is pretty cool. Picked up a sweet graphic tee from there. Um, I did go to the Nike store down there in the Union Square area, and then I also picked up some things from Supreme because it wasn't too far off from my hotel. So if I have more time there in the future, I'm definitely going to go check out some sneaker stuff, but you know, I was there for a short stint of time. Get... But while I was in San Francisco, I hit on that Nike app restock of the Midas Gold Dunk Lows. Those actually already arrived, but they're back at my parents' house. I'm not sure the next time I'll be there, so they're not making this video. And then also between yesterday, the 28th, and today, the 29th, Nike did a restock of the Panda Dunks, both the lows yesterday and the highs today. I hit on a pair of both, so I have both of those incoming, which obviously won't make it the cut for March, which is fine. There's always next month. But anyway, this is the last sneaker in this video. These come to us from sneakers and stuff. You can see the receipt there. These I picked up on March 19th via a raffle win from there. So we're not too far from that meatpacking district location. And if you couldn't tell by this box, that band logoing at the top, these are an Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, colorway of black, white, and particle gray, my true size of a nine and a half. This cool graffiti, cool art. And this is actually my first time looking at them. It's been well over 10 days since I picked these up and I haven't even looked at them yet. There you have the band box paper. Pretty cool graphic on there. Box paper is super crispy. And then getting to the inside. Yeah, no one's touched these. It's the Rebellion Air Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. So let me pull them both out and get a better look. So. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't super crazy about this sneaker. I think it's pretty gimmicky when it comes to graffiti around the sneaker. I think the redeeming qualities of the sneakers, one, the band logoing at the back, reminiscent of that pair that dropped back in the day at the Nike outlets, the band Jordan 1 highs. Um, I think that's pretty cool. And then just the color blocking as well. It's like a shadow type of color blocking here. But outside of that, the, the graffiti and text throughout is a little, Meh to me. I don't know if it's something I'd go out and wear myself. It's really more for the collectability One and then two just how elusive these were in trying to get these which is a great segue into the release It was kind of dodgy as far as trying to get your hands on these at retail uh, from my assumption I thought you had to get them from undefeated directly But then it seemed a lot of sort of tier zero boutiques and accounts got them and then I saw like random places like shoe palaces got them as well so a very strange release. Uh, it's very similar to the Jordan 6 Carolina Blues that you saw earlier in the video, which feels like a lifetime ago. 
um, that these weren't readily available on the Nike sneakers app. Rather, you know, you just had to be in the know and sort of enter all these raffles to get them. So not sure what the fate of these in the collection is. Who knows, maybe I'll end up wearing them just because I got them for retail, but I just don't know about this overall look and style. But yeah, this video has gone on long enough. I appreciate the viewership as always. I bought so much stuff this month that literally bankrupted me. Not literally, but I did spend a lot of money. So as things come in, things need to leave. Follow me on Instagram, Stuff Dylan Sells, or check out my eBay page. I'm dumping a lot of the stuff from the collection in, in favor of new things like this. So be sure to follow me there. Follow me on my main social, Stuff Dylan Likes. Run up the likes, run up the comments. I appreciate the viewership once again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.